Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer and I am making the Pawfic Gift Stocking. And we're working on the brown kitten today. And I just went ahead and did all of the outline stitches on all the pieces that I needed. And I'm just showing you all the pieces. Those are the ears, feet, body. I already cut this one out. Uh, light brown and dark brown. There's dark brown there, dark brown and dark brown. Two strands of each. Okay, so I decided to do this off camera because faces are so like intricate. So two strands of each color, satin stitch for the eyes, satin stitch for the nose, and satin stitch for the opening of the mouth. Everything else is outline stitch. I believe the uh, eyes are also outline stitch around them. Two strands of, of, of everything. So. Okay, so we're going to put the tail together first, and I lightly stuffed it. Um, I want it to, to be lightly stuffed because otherwise it'll pucker, and we don't want that. So I'm just going to grab some, I think it's like a light, like a light brown to match the felt color, and then um, close it up, and then we're going to add it to the body of the kitten. So, all right, now that's finished, we're going to add it to the bottom right here. Okay, I had to speed this part up because it took a little while, but um, I started at the tail first, and I actually went in, like, in and out and in and out. So I didn't do an applique stitch here. I kind of did, I'm not sure what you would call this stitch, if it has a name. If this stitch has a name, leave a comment down below and let me know. <laughs> because if it does, my mind is blanking. But this is the best way I found to add the tail because there's a lot of fabric there, so I wanted to really reinforce it. And then once I'm done, I go right back into the applique stitch. And it doesn't even look like any difference than the applique stitch. The only thing is, you know, you go inside it and instead of around it. Okay, so again, lightly stuffed all the way around. And we're gonna add the little paw here. I'm gonna cut this out, put it together like we did the tail. And now we're gonna applique it. So I'm only appliquing around the dotted area. So I'm gonna start down here on the bottom and I'm gonna go around the shoulder. And I'm kind of doing an, uh, like a tack down stitch. So it's a little bit different. Um, it's m more spaced apart and it's a little bit quicker to do. Okay, and then move the pin. And I'm just checking to see where the line stops so I know when to stop. And then once I reach the line, then I'll do a double knot. And then we'll be good. Okay, right about there. And then we'll do the next part. Hide my tail. Okay, now we're gonna do the face, the back of the face, put the ears on first, and we are not stuffing the ears. And the ears are kind of layered on, so we've got the backing of the head, and then the brown of the ears, and then we're going to do the pink, and then the face. So it's like layer upon layer. Simple applique stitch here. I'm just showing you how I start it. I'm going to do this for both sides of the ears. And then I'll skip ahead and show you the pink. Okay, so here's the pink part. I'm using pins to make sure they don't move around too much. And I'm not really worried about hiding my tail because the face is gonna cover it. So, unless you wanna hide your tail, it's up to you. But I figured I'm not gonna fuss with it. So I'm just gonna do this same thing, both sides, pink. And then we'll add the lovely face, which I think the, the best part of the cats is the face. Okay. Okay, so we're adding some stuffing here, very light. I just kind of um, sandwiched it together. And then I used some pins to make sure that the face doesn't move around. And then I applique it together. Okay, so once that's done, you put it on this little neck thing. <laughs> it's so strange looking like that. And um, the instructions say to just applique the back and leave the chin unappliqued. And I'll show you what that means. When I first read that, I was like, leave the chin? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> 
but I just decided to go and applique just the backing and um, and then it'll leave this chin open, see? And the reason why we want to do that is so that we can put the bow underneath, okay? So here is the bow, fairly simple to fold. If you need to rewind and look at it again, be my guest, do that. We are not sewing it together. We're actually appliquing the bow onto the cat with beads and sequins. And I'll show you in a second how I do that. I'm just using a pin to reposition my bow here and place it in the spot. And I'm using the, um, the chart, the picture, to kind of uh, give me a guide on how to put the bow on. Because I want it to match. Okay, I gotta adjust it here. And I'm using the pin to kind of place the bow where I want it. And then I'm gonna use the beads and sequins. Okay. I'm just positioning it, there we go. Okay. So I'm just going from the back, like all the way through. Normally you're not supposed to do that, but at this, po at this point, pff, it didn't matter. <laughs> the neck is so thin and the stuffing is so thin that it doesn't really matter. So I just went all straight through the back. And I'm putting two beads and two sequins on the bow. There's the first one. I'm moving the pin. And then I'm going to add the second one here. I'm trying to position it so that they're right underneath each other. The only reason that I know there's two here is because of the picture on the front of the kit. The instructions only tell you what color, that's it. They don't tell you how many. So that looks good. I'm gonna knot it in the back right here. And honestly, it doesn't really matter because nobody's gonna see them because we're just gonna applique this right onto the stocking. Okay, we are finished with the cat. So now we get to work on the candy cane. So cute. Okay, so I didn't film the candy cane part. It's fairly simple. Just stuff it, applique the little stripes, and beat it. It's pretty simple. I am using the light brown thread because that's the top color felt. Okay, so uh, I, I always go with the top color. That way it blends in really well. Even though the candy cane is white, the paw is on top. So um, appliquing the back of this candy cane was kind of a pain because I had to go around beads. So just make sure that you are aware of that. And check to make sure that the candy cane is secure before you decide to finish and not your work. Just checking, here we go. That feels good. Okay, double knot, double knot magic, and then <laughs> hide my tail, and then we'll be good to applique this onto the stocking. Okay, grab some pins and place the cat where you want it. Use the picture as a reference guide because there are no outlines on the actual stocking itself. You just kind of have to go by eye. So I just started wherever and I'm doing a tack down stitch all the way around and I'm just showing you the beginnings of the tack down stitch. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel. I do all these sorts of kits and I have plenty more planned out. So perfect. This kitten is done and I left the ears like I didn't I didn't applique the ears because I wanted it to be kind of realistic looking. And I didn't applique the front paw and the tail, obviously not applicated. There's the back of it. Awesome, awesome. Oh my gosh, I love the, the faces on these cats. So cute. Okay. In my next video, I will be finishing the stocking. So make sure you check that out when it comes out. Uh, hit the notification bell for um, notices on when I post new videos. So check those out and any links down below of all the things that I use for this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.